Hey guys, welcome back to Basics with Babish, where this week I've partnered with Blue Apron to help transform Taco Night. Blue Apron is a meal kit delivery service that makes it easy to cook healthy meals at home, and the first 100 people to sign up using the link in this video's description will get $50 off their first two weeks of deliveries. We're going to use this kit to make some Asian-inspired hoisan chicken tacos later, but for now let's get all our new toys in the fridge and get down to basics. Okay, so first things first, I am in the mood for corn tortillas. If you want to make flour tortillas, check out the fish tacos episode of Binging with Babish. Otherwise, follow along with me as we combine two cups of masa harina with one and a quarter cups water. Mix gently by hand and pat into a bowl. That's it. Mic drop. Cover with plastic wrap and let it rest for 20 minutes before pressing into tortillas using a tortilla press and a plastic food storage bag that you have cut open like a book. This prevents the tortilla dough from sticking to the tortilla press. So now just roll out golf ball sized balls of dough, close the tortilla press and let it do what it does best. But Babish, you might be asking, what if I didn't spend $30 on a 10 pound cast iron unitasker that I'll probably only use once a year? Well, the answer lies in the heavy bottom of a good old fashioned skillet. Simply press down firmly on our plastic bag contraption, a little bit more firmly than that, put your whole body into it, and presto, you'll be greeted with the same high quality homemade tortilla. Once you've got your tortillas out of whatever press you're using, you want to bring it over to a waiting, preheated, non-stick or cast iron skillet. Make sure it's ripping hot and flip after 30 seconds to one minute or until you've got a few brown spots. Let it go for maybe another 20 seconds on the other side before removing from the heat and keeping warm in a tortilla warmer or in a low oven wrapping foil. All right, so now that we've got our tortillas finished, it's time to address the matter of what to put inside them. I'm going to make three different kinds of tacos. I'm going to start off by making a chimichurri for steak. Into a food processor, I'm placing one Fresno pepper, a few cloves of garlic, a handful of parsley or cilantro if that's your thing, a quarter cup of olive oil, and a few tablespoons of red wine vinegar. I'm also going to lightly season it with salt and freshly ground pepper, and then it's time to take it for a spin until it is lightly chopped but not fully pureed. This is going to act as both the sauce and the marinade for our skirt steak. Oops, do not forget to fold down the top of your bag so you don't get any meat juice on the outside of the bag, and add about half of our chimichurri, reserving the other half for later application. Squeeze all the air out and give it a nice deep tissue massage, making sure the marinade is evenly distributed, place in a glass bowl, and fridge for at least 30 minutes and up to overnight. Now, let's do some chicken. We didn't have much time to shoot this episode, so I'm going to make three different kinds of tacos all at once. I hope you don't mind. We're starting by butterflying the chicken, placing it into a similarly outfitted bag and preparing a simple marinade courtesy of America's Test Kitchen. A few cloves of roughly chopped garlic, the juice of two limes, a good shake each of white pepper, cumin, smoked paprika, oregano, and for a little bit of heat, cayenne pepper. You can omit this if you're a wuss. We're also going to add a good drizzle of olive oil, a healthy sprinkling of salt, and a few twists of freshly ground black pepper. We're also going to add a little bit of sugar. This is going to help with the browning of the chicken later on. Whisk together and toss that bad boy into the marinade bag give it a massage, put it in a bowl, and fridge it for one to four hours. Last up, I'm going to make some tacos with chorizo and potato. For this, we're going to start by simply peeling and chopping our potato into nice little bite-sized cubes, and then we're going to put them into a pot and cover them with cold water, which we're going to slowly bring up to a boil. We're going to salt the water a little bit for flavor and expedited boiling, which takes a long time when you use a blowtorch, just kidding. We're also going to add a little bit of white vinegar. This is going to help the potatoes retain their structure. After parboiling these for about 10 minutes, drain and place them on a rimmed baking sheet to cool completely. Next up, the accoutrement for our chicken. We're going to make rajas con crema, which are poblano peppers that have been roasted and cooked in a zesty sort of Mexican sour cream. You can tell I'm excited to roast some peppers because it means I get to burn things over an open flame. And that's just what we're doing, putting these guys right on the stove grate until they turn black on the outside. We're then wrapping them in foil to soften them up, letting them rest for 10 minutes, unwrapping them and peeling off all the black stuff. I often like to leave this stuff on, but apparently it's bad for you, so I can't really recommend it. Anyway, now that we've got them nice and peeled and safe for consumption, we're going to slice them into strips. And these ones look a little bit too long, so I'm also going to cut them crosswise so they're nice and bite-sized. Now, also for the chicken tacos, we're going to make some quick pickled radishes, aka one of the few 
beautiful comforts in an otherwise cold, indifferent universe. Simply scrub, wash, and thinly slice your radishes, put them in a heat-proof bowl, and pour some boiling apple cider vinegar over top. If you're just making these for snacking like I do, you can also add things like mustard seeds and whole peppercorns and fresh dill, but these will do nicely for our purposes. We're going to let these quick pickle for about an hour or until they've cooled off. Last piece of accoutrement, some simply diced onions combined with a little bit of chopped fresh parsley or cilantro and the juice of one lime. Mix it up and let it sit for 15 minutes. Now, at long last, it's time to head over to the stove. This is kind of an interesting episode of basics because it's the workflow that you'd have if you're making all three of these tacos for like a dinner party or something. Anyway, we're starting by browning some chorizo that we've squeezed out of its skin. And in another nonstick pan, we're getting some onions started with a little bit of olive oil. These will be for the rajas con crema. Once they've softened up a little bit, it's time to add the rajas, otherwise known as the roast poblano peppers from earlier. We're going to season those with a little bit of dried oregano and let them get to know each other just a little bit, during which time we can throw our steak on a preheated cast iron skillet. This is skirt steak, so you'll remember that we want this ripping hot so we can cook it as fast as possible. Same goes for our nice, thin butterfly chicken. Next up, we're adding about a quarter cup of heavy cream and the juice of half a lime to our poblano pepper onion mixture and simmering that for about five minutes or until thickened. We're also going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. The lime helps emulate the sort of zing that we would have gotten from real Mexican crema. Now that the chorizo is nice and brown, we're going to put it on a plate, set it aside, reserve a little bit of that sausage fat, adding to it a little bit of vegetable oil. While that's heating up, check the browning on our steaks, give them a flip if they're ready to go. And once the fat in the chorizo pan is nice and sizzling hot, we're going to add our parboiled potatoes, leaving them untouched over high heat for about two minutes so we get some nice crispy brown spots. Achieve some steak flame that is totally going on Instagram, and remove once the interior of our steak reaches reaches 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Cover with foil and set aside to rest. Give the potatoes a flip now that they've browned and crisped up a little bit. Give the chicken a flip. Make sure it's not overcooking. We don't want those going over 165. Try to keep sampling and tasting as you go so you know how you want to adjust the seasoning of each element of a dish. I'm going to add some salt and a little splash of olive oil to help these guys finish up. Once the potatoes have some nice brown stuff on them, add back the sausage and boom, those are done. Just heat the mixture the whole way through while the chicken stubbornly comes up to temperature. The steak and the chicken have rested, so it's time to carve. We're cutting across the grain on the steak and then cutting into bite-sized pieces. The chicken, cut it up however you like, just make sure it'll fit in a taco. And at long last, it's time to plate up. One taco with a healthy helping of our chorizo potato mixture, one with a few strips of our steak, and one with a few strips of chicken. You can obviously top these up however you like, but I like to put the rajas con crema on the chicken with a few of the pickled radishes, a little bit of the reserved chimichurri sauce on the steak, our onion and fake cilantro mixture on the chorizo potato, and all all three with a generous helping of cotija cheese. If you can't find cotija, feta is an acceptable substitute, sort of. And there you have it, three delicious, if a bit labor-intensive tacos, sure to spice things up at your next dinner party. But what about something a little bit more weeknight, a little bit healthier, a little bit easier? Blue Apron's got, oop, shoot. Blue Apron's got us covered with some Asian-inspired hoisan chicken tacos. Start by cutting the four included sweet potatoes into wedges, and then we're gonna prepare a mixture in which to toss them. We're gonna start by placing into a large bowl a little dab of white miso paste, a tablespoon of water, and two tablespoons of olive oil. We're also gonna season this with salt and freshly ground pepper. Then we wanna whisk the whole thing together until it is a homogenous slurry. I'm sorry, I didn't use tiny whisk. Into which we are going to toss our sweet potato wedges. Give them a little toss until they are evenly coated in the mixture. We are then arranging these guys on a parchment or aluminum foil lined baking sheet and placing in a 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for 25 to 30 minutes, during which time we're going to get the fillings for the tacos ready. We are stemming and seeding four ounces of sweet, adorable little peppers that we are then halving and thinly slicing. We're gonna put those in a bowl with two smashed and roughly chopped garlic cloves. Then we're gonna bust out our woefully inadequate backup vegetable peeler and peel the skin off a little one inch knob of fresh ginger that we're then going to finely mince. You can also run this through a microplane if you like. That's the cool thing about Blue Apron. If you follow the directions to a T, you're gonna end up with a great meal, but you can also put your own spin on it or employ your own technique. Next up, I am following the directions and thinly slicing two small halved cucumbers along with the white parts of two scallions. I'm going to give those a rough chop so they're a little bit less intrusive, and add those to the cucumbers along with the cutest little bottle of rice vinegar that you ever did see. We're also going to add a little splash of olive oil and season this with salt and freshly ground pepper and let it marinate for the 20 minutes or so until the tacos are done. A little bit more accoutrement to take care of, we're going to thinly slice the green parts of the scallions and season a tiny little serving of cream friche 
with a little bit of salt and freshly ground pepper. And now it's time to move over to the stove top. We gotta start by heating up our flour tortillas in a preheated nonstick skillet. You could also microwave them between two damp paper towels, but either way, as soon as the skillet frees up, we're gonna hit it with some vegetable oil and drop in our two pounds of ground chicken, which we're gonna break up a little bit, season with salt and pepper, and let it sit for about three or four minutes until it turns a bit brown. Optionally, practice your tossing skills. Either way, make sure the chicken is cooked through before adding our sweet pepper garlic ginger mixture. Toss those together and cook for an additional two to three more minutes until those flavors have gotten to know each other. And then add the two packets of hoisin sauce and the little cup of black bean sauce. Toss together and let simmer for an additional minute. And we got ourselves some taco filling. Turn off the heat and keep it warm whilst we assemble our tacos. Oh, and by the way, our sweet potato wedges came out pretty awesome. Now we can plate those up along with the main course. Now this whole thing only took about 35 minutes to make. It was the perfect little dinner for me and me again when I have the leftovers tomorrow. Blue Apron is an awesome way to get cooking at home, pick up new cooking skills, and help your family eat healthy. They use farm fresh ingredients. All their meals are between 500 to 800 calories per serving. They've even teamed up with Bob's Burgers and Alvin Kylon to bring some of Bob's Punny Burgers to life in your kitchen. And like I mentioned earlier, the first 100 people to sign up using the link in this video's description will get $50 off their first two weeks. Hope you guys give it a try yourselves. Now if you'll excuse me, it's taco time.